Hello everybody, and welcome to what might be my final Overwatch rework concept. How to rework Symmetra into a healer, version 2. I had this idea from a while ago, but what prompted me to make this video now was the recent Reddit AMA that the Overwatch devs did. In it, the idea of a healer Symmetra was mentioned three times. Who knows if this actually confirms anything, but I thought it would be fun to concept anyways. I had a few goals while creating this rework. Move Symmetra back into the support role and give her some actual healing capabilities. Combine both old and new versions of Symmetra. Bring back Symmetra's old utility of granting bonus shields. And overall to create a fun off support who can supplement her team's damage while still providing decent healing. I'm going to gloss over the part where I talk about Symmetra 3.0's issues because we are all well aware of them by this point. Like all my other reworks, I will list the stats first and then explain my reasonings for them afterwards. Let's jump into this rework. Background footage is going to be of Symmetra and Left 4 Dead 2 because I couldn't be bothered to wait over 10 minutes for a DPS game. Symmetra's HP pool will remain at 100 health, 100 shields. Symmetra will have a new passive entitled Enhanced Shields. With this passive, Symmetra's shields will always be regenerating at a rate of 10 shields per second. Symmetra's Photon Projector will have its ammo increase from 70 back up to 100. Her primary fire will be reverted to the 2.0 auto lock state. Ramp up and ramp down time will be decreased to 1 second each. The Noodle Beam's damage will be lowered to 25 DPS on level 1, 50 DPS on level 2, and 100 DPS on level 3. However, the beam's range will be increased from 2.0's 10 meters to 3.0's 12 meters. Symmetra's secondary fire will be a combination of her 2.0 and 3.0 orbs. Orb travel speed will remain at 25 meters a second. Orb damage will be lowered from 140 to 100. But now, orbs will go back to piercing players and shields. This comes at a cost though, for each entity pierced, the orb will lose 15% damage. That means if you pierce a shield and hit the Reinhardt behind it, you will do 100 damage to the shield and then 85 to the Rhine. If a fully charged orb manages to pass through 6 entities, the 7th target damaged will only receive 10 damage. One orb can hurt 7 targets before its damage is reduced to 0. Symmetra will now have two versions of her sentry turrets damage and healing turrets. These will be selected akin to how Moira selects a biotic orb. Sim will be able to have two damaging turrets and two healing turrets up at once. Overall, her turret count goes up from 3 to 4. The cooldown for all turrets will be 10 seconds, but the cooldown will be separated for each turret type. The stats for these turrets are a bit different from each other, so let's start with the damage turrets. The damage per second will be lowered from 40 to 30. However, the slow will be increased from a 20% slow to a 25% slow. The damage turrets will still retain their 10 meter range. Next, let's talk about Symmetra's first new ability, the healing turrets. The healing turrets will be functionally identical to the damage turrets, with a few key differences. The first of these changes is that healing turrets will have a range increase going from 10 meters to 15 meters. Healing turrets will target the lowest health ally in their range, and heal them for 30 heals a second for 3 seconds. Afterwards, they will incur a 0.5 second cooldown, and then pick another target to heal. Leaving the turret's line of sight, or running out of range, will start the 0.5 second cooldown early. Symmetra is capable of being healed by her own turrets. Last of the abilities is the Photon Shields which will replace the teleporter. Similar function to the Sim 1.0 ability of the same name. Symmetra will target an ally within a 30 meter range to burst heal them for 75 HP and grant them a 25 HP shield for 10 seconds. This ability will have a short 4 second cooldown. And finally we have Symmetra's ultimate, which will still be the Photon Barrier. Of course with a few changes to make it more interesting. The barrier's health will be reduced from 4000 HP to 2500 HP. However, casting the barrier will grant 50 bonus shield health to Symmetra and all allies within 50 meters of her. During the 12 seconds that the ultimate is active, 
Symmetra's Enhanced Shields passive will apply to all her teammates, allowing their shields to constantly regen. The bonus shields and the passive shield gain will disappear if an ally leaves the 50 meter radius. The bonus shield health will remain for the 12 second duration even if the barrier is destroyed. Because Symmetra will have easier ways to gain ult charge, I believe the cost for this ultimate should be increased from 1680 points to 2000 points. Now that I've gone over all the abilities, let me give my reasoning for them. Starting with keeping Symmetra's HP at 200 and not addressing her hitbox. Since Symmetra will have her noodle beam back, it makes sense to keep the hitbox that was originally designed with it in mind. This is also exaggerated by the fact that Sim will now have access to self-healing with her passive and the new healing turrets. Moving on to that passive. The enhanced shields will allow Symmetra to remain more active in a fight and require less attention from her other support. Enhanced shields won't change much in terms of damage breakpoints, but it will allow a Symmetra player to strategically dip in and out of cover to keep her shields topped off, adding another layer of strategy to the character. Now, about Symmetra's Noodle Beam returning. Originally, when I made this rework, I had a version of 3.0's beam with a passive that did 50% more damage to barriers. However, after observation of conversations in my Discord, I saw that Sim players would much prefer for the Noodle Beam to return if she were to go back to the support role. As much as I loved the Noodle Beam from 2.0, it did have a few issues, the biggest one being the range. I opted for increasing the range to 3.0's current 12 meters so that Sim players wouldn't have to readjust to a lower range. The increased range comes at a cost, however, because the damage is being changed from 2.0's 30-60-120 to 25-50-100. I know immediately people are going to compare this to Moira, and to that I say, Symmetra will have 8 less meters on her weapon than Moira. Also, Symmetra will have no mobility, meaning she cannot suddenly jump you or suddenly escape when in a duel. My goal with this version of the Noodle Beam was to make the weapon more reliable to use, while also being a little less frustrating to die to. Alrighty, Symmetra's new secondary fire, or as I call them, the 2.5 orbs. These orbs are a combination of 2.0 and 3.0, bringing the speed from 3.0, but the utility of 2.0. I opted for keeping the orb speed at 25 meters a second, because anything slower and the ability would be complete garbage. I also decided to bring back the piercing aspect of the orbs, because this would grant Symmetra access to some great utility by being able to deal decent damage against large groups of enemies, or enemies clumped up behind a shield. On top of that, I also opted for the orbs to lose 15% damage per entity pierced for the same reason. That being, that the orb will be faster over 2.0, allowing for more consistency. Overall, similar goals to the Noodle Beam. Bring back a familiar weapon while making it more consistent and less frustrating to fight against. Now onto the turrets. Let's start with the damage turrets since not a lot is changing here. Lowering the damage per second but increasing the slow will slightly shift turrets power from killing enemies into creating opportunities for your team to kill enemies with the increased slow. I mean it's not like 40 DPS turrets were killing that much anyway, <laughs> who said that? I opted for lowering the turret count to 2 to compensate for the new healing turrets and to double down on reducing the frustration some folks get when facing Symmetra. Let's continue with the new healing turrets. My main inspiration for these was Ying's illusions and paladins. A big problem with healers, especially in Overwatch, is that you feel forced to babysit your team. This in turn makes the role less enjoyable to play for some. Ying Illusions and these new turrets allow for the player to not be entirely forced into babysitting their team. Since the turrets do the healing for you, all you have to worry about is placing them in a safe and optimal location. Optimal locations for the healing turrets will be different than the damage turrets, and this in turn will create new strategies for Symmetra players to unfold. 30 heals a second matches the healing of a Zenyatta Harmony Orb, and I figured this would be a good healing number given the turret's 15 meter range. I also opted for the turrets to heal Symmetra. This is because Symmetra will have no mobility and lower damage over her past incarnations. Also, the turrets are destructible. If you find that she's self-healing too much from the turrets, just punch her. 
Now last of the basic abilities is Symmetra's Photon Shields. This ability was actually inspired by Brigida 1.0's Repair Pack. I wanted to return the essence of that ability, without the frustration factor of fighting against it. Brigida's old Repair Pack would burst heal for 150, and then apply 75 armor if the target was full HP. My version of Symmetra's Photon Shields cuts the burst heal in half to 75, and applies a small 25 HP bonus shield, regardless of health. 75 HP is still enough to save some targets after being stunned, which was one of my favorite things to do with Old Brig. And the bonus 25 shield HP for 10 seconds brings back the ability for a character to provide bonus health. Bonus health that can be used in anticipation of an enemy dive, or if one of your teammates is about to go for one themselves. Symmetra's bonus shields will be less frustrating than Brig's armor, because on top of the HP count being drastically lowered, Shield HP does not have any damage reduction built in. I opted for a short 4 second cooldown to allow the ability to be used frequently and fluidly. With the 4 second cooldown, the estimated heals per second on this ability is actually a very low 18.75. 25 heals a second if you include the bonus shield. And finally, we have the Photon Barrier Ultimate. My main goal with this was to make the ultimate more interesting by sort of reintroducing the shield generator from 2.0. I opted for lower barrier HP because of the fact that the ultimate will provide 50 bonus shields to everyone on Sim's team. Combined with the bonus shields from Photon Shields, and an ally can have 75 bonus shields during the ultimate. I decided to increase the ultimate cost to 2000, which is about a 16% increase in cost. In terms of support ultimates, Symmetra's Photon Barrier will charge slower than Mercy's Valkyrie, and charge faster than Ana's Nano Boost. The ultimate cost might have to be increased even further, but I opted for the fairly low cost, due to the fact that Symmetra will be competing with ultimates like Lucille's Sound Barrier and Zenyatta's Transcendence. Now, normally I would go over some team comps that Symmetra would be good with, but building a team comp usually starts with the tank lineup, and the state of tanks in Overwatch right now is just pitiful. So, I'll just say this. Healer Sim version 2 will be a flexible off support, capable of working in most comps, but thriving in brawl and bunker comps. To counter Healer Sim version 2, look to take dive characters to single her out, or take spam characters who can easily kill her turrets. And that's it! This could be my final rework concept for Overwatch. Let me know what you think down below, and we could get a discussion going. Under normal circumstances, I would say to subscribe and hit that bell for more, but truth be told I haven't been enjoying Overwatch at all the past few months. I wouldn't want people to subscribe expecting more Overwatch content. I just really wanted to make this video as sort of a farewell to the game. Anyways, if you like the video, please hit that button as it helps a lot. And subscribe if you want! I won't be uploading Overwatch, but I do record and stream some other games here on my channel, Check them out if you want to. Anyways, I'm your ninja, and peace.